Instagram fam. It's your girl Andrea Ellis here, Fear Free Living LLC. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Happy Friday, right? Man, you guys, I've been waking up feeling so drained. Um, not that I'm not even getting proper sleep, but it's a little different. So I've been asking the Lord, what, what's, what's up with that? Just feeling very drained. Um, extra like sluggish you know and I, I don't know what that's about but it will be resolved in jesus name so you guys um hope you had a great week and hope you're having some plans for your weekend whatever those are whether to do something or to just chill whatever that is for you that you have a prosperous weekend and um you know that you enjoy life you guys i'm learning about enjoying life more myself you know, I was in a season of like a lot of isolation and God is taking me out of that. Um, so I'm like learning new things and stuff like that, how that would look. So um, some of you guys may be going through some shifts yourself, you know, some things um, that you were a certain way in a certain season. Now you feel like it's different. Things are changing. You know, I think I think embrace that. Um, you may have some questions about it, but just embrace it and just. Um, shift with the new whatever that means <laughs> shift with it um, you know in Jesus name so you guys for today first of all for those of you new to me my name is Andrea Ellis I'm a life coach I'm the founder and CEO of Fear Free Living LLC it's a soul and mind wellness company that specializes in helping you women overcome your fear issues and everything fear related so you can live your best life be about God's business for your life and just reach your full potential, your goals and dreams and things that are strongly in your heart. But fear has stopped you from taking that step, you know. Um, I help you with that. So if you need help overcoming your fears and things that are really fear related, hit the link in my bio to schedule your consultation. And we will see if we're a good fit. And I will help you. I will help you. Make this year the year of change for you. Okay, so guys, today... The topic um, that the Lord told me to talk about is being approved. The title is approval, and this is not new to anyone that's been watching me for a little bit. I do talk about this um, as the Lord brings it up because this is really, really a big issue in our humanity, in our society, and especially if you've gone through some things, some trauma, so on and so forth, that tends to really... Um, bend us in really needing so much approval from people in a very toxic way you know so the topic for today is approval is your <clears throat> is your game approval is your game what am i talking about i'm talking about approval you need an approval is the name of the game for you you need an approval in your life is the name of the game like your life run on being approved or needing others approval in a very toxic way in a very unhealthy way in a very dependent way um where you need that um to feel like you could do anything and guys i'm not judging anybody but i i want to address this because this was a big issue for me as well you know this is something i had to overcome and if you guys were like how i was on the outside you couldn't tell any of that y'all on the outside, you couldn't tell. But on the inside, I made decisions. And for a long time, I made decisions based off of that. And for a long time, it was subconscious. It was subconscious. I Maybe um, someone that's going to watch this, maybe this will alert you, bring awareness. For a long time, most of the time that I was that way, it was unconscious. I was doing it subconsciously, and it came out of my programming from things that I went through when I was young through my um, abandonment, rejection, fear issues, stuff like that when I was younger. And that programmed my mindset to, and not having enough self-esteem and stuff like that through because of some of the things I went through that like broke me down instead of building me up as a child. So I ended up being programmed in that approval thing so I could feel good about myself, so I could feel like I'm a good girl, or so I could feel like someone is happy with me, and so I could feel accepted. You know what I mean? So if that's you today, I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. Don't give people that power over you. Don't give people that power. And you know what? Everyone, no matter what you do, somebody won't approve anyway. So it's a losing battle. 
You know, don't try to make the friend your world. I mean, your world, the world, your friend. Don't try to make the world your friend. Everyone is not going to like you. You don't need everybody's friendship, everybody's approval and acceptance. Actually, there's some things that you might have to walk on your own to begin with. And then people will come on the bandwagon as they see you like prospering or they see you really being committed to that thing, discipline, and then they see the fruits of it. They'll get on your bag, bag wagon, but don't let them talk you out. Don't continue make decisions based off of if someone would approve of you or not. You know, and for some of you, like I said, that may be unconscious to that. I pray this be a broadcast to come across your path to awaken you to that. Because some of us, we were a program in that thing and we and it had a, added it happened little by little and it was added to our life little by little subtly through our experiences until that becomes something that we had a tremendous emotional need to have in order to feel good about ourselves or whatnot. So guys, um, for those of you that your life is run on being approved by people and needing people's approval, work on loving yourself, work on building up yourself. Um, if you have toxic people around you that are constantly tearing you down, you're going to have to separate. If this is you, you're going to have to separate from that because those people are helping to keep continually um, plant that seed and 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 make you think that you're not good enough or make you feel low about yourself so if you're around people that are constantly um driving into you you're not good enough or belittling you 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 need to separate from that even if it's a, a close family member you might need to separate from that at least for a season until you can get yourself healed and get yourself together because peop, peop, the type of people in your life are, are ones too that will help help you to heal or help you to, um, to be driven more in that beliefs of yourself that is not positive right now. You know what I'm saying? So guys, if your life is really run on what people think, that's something you really, really, really have to change. You really have to work on that. You really have to separate yourself from things that are um, uh, poking at your self-worth and your value. You know what I'm saying? So guys, I love you. Um, if you need help with this, I do help people overcome these things. You know what I mean? Because there are far more deeper rooted issues as well. So um, if that's you, click the link in my bio. If you're tired of being controlled by what people think and that you need their approval to be about your life, I will help you with that. I will help you, okay? Because you don't want to uh, give people that much power over you to decide what you're going to, how you're going to live your life, how you're going to run your life based on if they'll approve of you or not. You'll never get anything done. You'll never, people that have, a great success in life, whatever that is for you, you know, not the um, stereotypical type of success, whatever that is for you, you're going to have to like, be okay with, um, you know, not getting the, the, the praises from the crowd, you're gonna have to be okay, you may have to walk alone for a little bit, you know, and if you do that, then you will be untangled from that control, that, that, um, that need that you have to be approved and it's really a big freedom when you don't have that and you can just be free and not think okay is someone gonna approve of this or not and then make that decision you don't even think that you just do what you need to do and you don't that's not even a dominant thought anymore you just make your decisions based on what's best with your life what what is really in your heart and what you think you should do so thank you, thank you for coming in. Blessings, um, please share. So I'm about to come off. You could watch the replay, but guys, don't let your life be run by what people think about you. Don't let your life be run by needing others' approval of you. Don't let that be your story. Don't be in, in, enslaved by that anymore. Don't be in bondage to that. That is bondage, you are not free. If this is you, you are not free and you're not happy because even if you do what, uh, do something that you think they're going to approve of, I'm telling you, even if you do do it, 
it's most likely not even what you want to do. You know what I mean? And you're not going to be happy based off of that. You may feel good for that time period, but you're little by little, you're drowned in you guys. Okay, so I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please take heed to this message if this is you. It's time for you to be free, okay? Love you. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Um, for you guys that are new to this, I'd said that on in the month of May, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, when I'll be coming on um, to do a live, okay, for this month. All right, you guys. Blessings. Later.